Our first cabochon here has a pure white bass tone and decent fire, and our second cabochon has an off-white bass tone, uh, slightly tan, and decent brightness. I used a different set of bulbs for this video than later in the video. I am going to get some oil out of these stones. Step one, put some oil in these stones. I use coconut oil for the oval. It's soaking right now and I'm trying to keep it at around 100 degrees. And I use canola oil for the round. The reason I want to keep these stones at 100 degrees is because I'm trying to mimic body temperature to find out the absorption rate. So at this point is when I realized that the stove is just not a safe or efficient method of heating the oil to body temperature for the duration that I needed for this project. And that's when I remembered I've got a radiant heat panel sitting right upstairs. It's 100 degrees and I took that little ramekin and that small pot and placed them right on top. Nine days later. And here we are. This is the stone that was soaking in coconut oil. You can see it's a bit filmy, yellowed, and uh, semi-translucent. And this one here is the one that was soaking in canola oil. I believe that the coconut oil is filmier and more opaque because it's solid at room temperature. It took a while for these stones to absorb the oils, even at body temperature. A lot longer than I expected, honestly. And what I did next to get the oils back out was I took a glass jar, I filled it with acetone. You only really need about twice the height of the stones, but the more acetone you get, the higher acetone to oil ratio you're gonna have. And in theory, that can help get it out quicker or more completely, especially if you go up and swirl it every once in a while. I didn't, I just let it sit. I took the acetone in a jar, covered it with saran wrap, because acetone will evaporate very quickly. Anybody who cuts stones with super glue knows this. And I just let it sit. I let it sit for four days. I took them out and you can judge for yourself how well it did. Personally, I'm really happy with how they came out. The one on the right there was a, a slightly off-white, um, slightly tannish stone with good fire, and it is still. The one on the left here was a very white stone with uh, decent fire, and yeah, they're both identical to what they were before. I think the coconut oil was a great test because it's solid at room temperature and I wasn't sure, you know, is the acetone going to be able to break through solid oil?